Well, it was going to be amazing <laughs> until I went like this, and then the spikes came down, and it was like, oh, oh yeah. One of the things that I've always wanted to do, I've, all, I've, I've been wanting to do this for years, <laughs> literally years, at least two, at least two years. I wanted to start a podcast, and it's called, it was going to be amazing. And it's just bad things that happen on the stage. You can start with your 35 to 35. <laughs> it was going to be amazing. And then this virus. And then while we had to go in quarantine, the whole world. It was going to be amazing. I think that's that, great. That was like the whole premise of it. it it's going to be amazing. And then I set my hair on fire. <laughs> you know, well. And the thing is, a podcast like that only has to be two or three minutes long. It doesn't yeah, have to yeah, be. It's a long <laughs> format. It's like, tell me what happened. So, so that's so, very cool. So, what I'm saying is, you're going to be my first guest on my podcast. So, <laughs> <laughs> it was going to be amazing, but. It was, was going to be amazing, but then Kevin, well, I don't know what he did. Uh, I would love to. Well, right now. <laughs> oh, this is <laughs> yes, right now. <laughs> so I want a story, something that happened to you that you can remember where you just go, oh my gosh. Whether it was oh, a true. travel story, whether it was a, on stage, on stage is the most fun. The on stage is <laughs> those are always the the most fun. Um <laughs> so it was gonna be amazing. We had <laughs> We had, uh, Andre Cole and my wife had put together this escape. Okay. Um, so it was a combination. I had find, I found this underwater escape in Wisconsin that this guy was selling, just a tank. Yeah. And so we bought it for cheap, I think maybe a couple hundred bucks. And <laughs> <laughs> it was going to be amazing. Um, and then we got it and it was really well built. It looked really, really cool. Um, we didn't know what we wanted to do with it. So we sent it to Bill Smith without any um, directions, you know, about where any of the secret part of it was. Okay. <laughs> and so Bill called a couple of days later and he goes, I I've been all over this thing. I can't figure out how you get out of it. <laughs> and it's like, well, it's pretty cool. This is, he says, what do you want to do with it? We're not sure. So my wife and Andre Cole got together and created this underwater table of death, right? Wow. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so Bill built this table that it was going to sit on. And because the whole thing was made out of Lexan, he had lights in the base of it. And, you know, so the lights came up through the tank. And then he had these struts up on it and suspended about 10 feet in the air over the top of the tank um, yeah. was about a 500 pound slab of spikes, steel spikes. <laughs> tied into this two minute timer that, you know, yeah. went through the whole thing. It was an, a gorgeous piece of equipment. I mean. Okay, so, so you were gonna get in this water tank and then spikes were above you. Right, and so, and the, and the lid then had, you know, holes cut for the spikes got it. Got to be able to go through without like shattering the top as it went yeah, down. Yeah, 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 got it. But you know, you're not gonna squeeze through. Right, yeah, it's fine. So, yeah. They would chain me up and then I would step inside the tank and they padlock, you know, wrap chains around my feet that were mounted to the bottom of the tank. Right. Padlock my feet. I would go under another chain around my neck, padlock my neck, put the lid down, three padlocks across the front, and then curtain drops into place. And now you can see the spikes and you can see under. So it's that still table of death right. sort of feel. Yep. <clears throat> spikes were really sharp. Yeah. And so... Um, not much room between you <laughs> and the spikes. Um, so I'm, I'm out, I'm kind of standing there and, and uh, the spikes are released. And just as the spikes are released, I kind of look up like this. Well, when you look up like this, it also moves your shoulder back just a tiny little bit, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. See how that, that happens? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it was gonna be amazing. <laughs> until I went like this and then the spikes came down and it was like, whoosh, oh, uh, yeah, no. yeah. And Is that just, what your shoulder injury came from? <laughs> it was one of many, yes. 
<laughs> and oh it was like, God. so Bill Smith is like, oh, because they were sharp. He, they were really sharp. It now, was, was this in rehearsal or live yeah. show? No, this was in rehearsal. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah, Bill is standing there. We're going through the whole thing with Bill and Cindy. We're just kind of going through the whole thing. And it, the spikes were so sharp, they were surgical. It just was like. Yeah, it went right in. Oh, yeah. Just, Did it knock you back? Did you oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, now they're having to go to the ropes and crank the. Yeah. the, the so you get the spike up. out of your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> like like a to oh like God. a tomato spike in the earth. Oh <laughs> you know. Oh. And I was with a couple of our friends and I'm thinking, oh, this thing's gonna be bleeding. And it didn't. It didn't it, like it, it was just it so, was so deep. <laughs> yeah. So we go off to um, I think it was a CVS in Vegas. We were in Vegas <laughs> and um, we're looking for hydrogen peroxide and cotton balls so that we can like boil this thing out, you know? Yeah, yeah. And so we're going through, and I've got this kind of cream colored sweater on. And we're going through the CBS. I know. <laughs> yes. I know. Yeah. Yeah. My friend comes up to me and goes, you got to get out of here. And I'm like, why? He goes, you're bleeding. You're bleeding all over the place. And at this point, the whole back was like it turned into a fountain. <laughs> you know? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. So I go running out to the parking lot. I've got blood all over me. He's following me out with hydrogen peroxide and cotton balls. And some woman looks at me and goes, oh, my God, what happened? And he goes, he got stabbed inside the seat. <laughs> well, you did get stabbed. <laughs> But not at the CVS. But not at the CVS. <laughs> and it was my wow. own stupid fault. Yeah. Wow. So, I love that. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. So we only did, we did travel with the, you know, toured with the yeah, escape. The first wow. thing Bill did was like dull the spikes. <laughs> <laughs> so they wouldn't be deadly. These, are, uh, these spikes are rounded. It makes it more <laughs> dangerous because... Because that would just like budget you to death instead of, you know. But we traveled with it for about a year. It was great. I mean, but it was terrifying, even for the yeah. audience. It was oh, a no, terrifying man. trick. So wow. <laughs> but it was going it to was be amazing. Be amazing. <laughs> it was. It was going to be. Awesome. <laughs> now I I know when 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 I when you first start when I first put a water escape in the in the show. I mean people. You know, what I ended up having to do, and I, I don't know, I, just, I guess it depends on the show and what the actual, I guess, show and the venue was. But originally, right, it's the last piece. It's yes. Last piece because you Cause you're wet. Dripping yeah. wet. And I had, I was, I put it in, the first time I ever did underwater escape was in Reno at Harris. And Harris, Reno, and I would end with the tank. I'd run out, get escaped, dripping wet. I'd go outside, and for the meet and greet, I had towels and you know, and I put something on. And people left, and when they left, people who had seen the show before, they're just like, "Oh wow, like a uh, great show!" But like they, it just didn't feel like it had the the same energy yeah. as it used to. And so. A friend of mine's dad saw the show, who loved the show, always came and really big supporter, which was amazing. And he said something that was really, I mean, it was enlightening to me. And he goes, you know, the show is really good. I love it still. But, you know, you leave with a different feeling. Like you leave going, I'm glad I didn't see this guy die. Like right. <laughs> opposed to your other one, your other one, you're like, wow, that was great, amazing show. And everybody's kind of leaving somber, like, okay, all right, yeah, thanks. And they have to get over this 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 feeling they had. And I go, oh my gosh, that's right. So then I kind of thought, well, can I move it up earlier? And I started playing with it. And at one time it was a it was a middle piece. I didn't have an intermission, but I would put it in the middle of the show, and then I had a two and a half minute video of highlights and kind of like talk as I dried off and I came back and then I did the last half and the last half was boom 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 like get them back because when I put it to like second to last I couldn't get them back, back because it was not enough time to get them back they're still kind of thinking about this thing but still to this day whenever I have it in the show afterwards I go oh I always ask oh what was your favorite part what do you remember what do you like 
everybody says the tank, man, the tank. Oh, the tank. And that's all anybody talks about. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> I mean, it does its job, but it is uh, right. pretty scary. That, you know, those things are scary. Yeah. The, the other thing is when we ended, you know, we've had like three different underwater escapes. And was, yeah. <clears throat> I'm not very big. You're not very big. Yeah. And that's one of the things that I was brought to, I think, Jim and Cindy and probably even Andre said, you know, you go through all of the stuff on stage. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, the last image they have of you. Mm -hmm is this soaking wet little guy at the front end of the <laughs> stage in a bathrobe. Yeah. You know, it's like, is that really the image yeah. you want them to kind of walk away with? Not just the feeling of you didn't die, but this yeah. is the last sort of image they have of you yeah. too. Well, that's, yeah. And I think that's why, cause I talked to Jim about it um, quite a bit. And that's why I was like, how can we do this? And he kind of, and I gave him my show order and he broke it down and he goes, okay, think of your show, even without an intermission, it's three acts, right? And we broke it down and he says, act one was, um, you know, basically establishing, right? Kind yeah. of who you are, whatever. Act two is the heavy kind of longer format escape stuff and find the lady. And it was more about this kind of, it was long format. And then act three is like, it all's wrapped up. Like, I mean, yeah. I'm doing a very, very poor job of how articulate he was when he formulated it. Um, and we implemented it into in the middle of a 60 show run. Cause I was at, when we did this, we did it in Tahoe. I did a casino up in Tahoe. And, you know, it took a while because I had a lot of changes in that show because I was doing Find the Lady for the first time. I had the tank on this pyramid that built up. I was doing, um, you know, we added a lot of production. So there was a lot of new elements to the show. So I was still getting used to it. And about halfway through, I realized, yeah, you know, because it takes, you know, a dozen, two dozen shows to really go, okay, one, I'm comfortable with everything. Now I'm listening to the audience, seeing what's working. Yeah. And so then it took a, a week or two to figure out how we're we going to make these changes. And can you do it? Right? Like, can, so then it's about, you know, I was talking with Megan, like, oh, Megan, can you make that change? Oh, can crew, here's the ch change. We're doing tank here. You have to mop the floor. When are you going to mop? When are you going to, you know, like yeah. we take a lot of those things. And so by the time we put it in, I think it was like the last two or three weeks of the run. And unfortunately it was also the tail end of the season. So the audiences were a little smaller than they were before with less energy because it's the end of the summer and you're like, and so I really told Jim, I go, I couldn't get a, good enough to, you know, I couldn't tell enough if it was really good or not. Like the change was fine. Right. People accepted it. They liked it. It was great. But I couldn't say, yeah, that was such a big difference because I just, I just didn't have the, you know, the ability to do that. Not enough feedback. Yeah. Not enough feedback. Yeah. For the time. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a fun, it's a fun thing to do. And uh, I always, I have this other one in my mind that I want to do. Um, and it was this escape. It wasn't underwater. And it just became this monster. As I told you, <laughs> we designed it, it became like 15 feet tall. Like it was just massive. massive. And then he goes, well, maybe we don't know. Maybe we don't have to do it this way or whatever. And I was like, no. I said, it kind of has to be this. And you kind of have to go, here's a 15 foot escape. You know, so. But, oh you know, yeah. Am I going to do this? Yeah. And where am I going to do this? And the answer is no. no. <laughs> you need a truck just to get it anywhere. That's you know? right. Jeez. Its own truck. It was this huge thing. Whoops. Yeah, you got to go? But it's my next thing. Yeah. This has been great. This is, I'm so glad that we got to do this. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> well, I'm going to let you know. Send me this. Send yes, me this file. Absolutely. I'll, I'll, I'll just pull out that bit. Okay. And then I'm going to post it. I'll probably post it tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> and I'll tag you in it on socials. And even if you're on LinkedIn, uh, you know, Perfect. please share it. And, uh, and I want to do it a different magician every day and just basically do Great this idea. and say, 
you know, and, and actually, because I have, you know, you're uh, on, when I thought about it, I was on the cruise ships because I talked to different entertainers, singers and violinists and jugglers and, you know, impressionists and all these different people. And I just, we always get together and you tell these stories and they're hilarious. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, I should do this. So I've been thinking about this for That's years. It. It's a great idea. Yeah, it was yeah. going to be it's a great, And it does across all genres. Yeah. It's just, it's so I'll, I'll, I'll just, I start with you. I thought, I thought about it the other day. I go, I'm not going to tell him. I said, we're just going to record it. And then I'm just going to go, guess what? You're the guy. This is, well, thanks. I won't right. be the first. Yes. Kevin, uh, uh, great seeing you. Stay safe. Yourself. All right. Bye-bye. See ya. Well, there was um, the last bit of the first podcast that uh we've we, that he didn't even know he was going to be uh be on so mj boy are you ready for your walk mj was here i don't know if you saw him in this camera but mj was in my lap for a bit of it and he definitely wants to go on his walk now so that's what we're going to go do all right